What's up everybody? Uh, I'm ashamed to say it, but I'm just finally getting around to doing a vlog of my birthday trip. All right, so let's set the scene. Friday morning, I got all my bags packed, or just various clothes. Caitlin was telling me, okay, you need to pack for this, but then this, and it was, she was really throwing me off the scent of what we were actually doing. Find out we're going to Vegas, but wrong. My brother and I are going to Vegas. I'm meeting him there. I did, she didn't say that, but I knew that there was only one person other than her that I'd be meeting in Las Vegas. So uh, she says goodbye. I get on the plane, and now my mind is just a whirlwind because they know I'm not a gambler, nothing opposed to it, but I just, it's not my thing. As a financial planner, probably also another reason why it's not my thing. Come to find out you can spend a lot of money in Vegas without ever pulling a slot machine. And uh, we'll give you a little glimpse of what that looks like in this little vlog. I will say that uh, my reaction or my look at the beginning of the trip was slightly different than at the end. Check this out. Yeah, it was a little brutal. So I land in Vegas, surprise. Uh, there's a woman, like a limo type driver woman, that has a sign with my name on it. I'm like, I call Caitlin, I'm like, is this for real? Like, is this mine or is this just a coincidence? Because Matthew Taylor is not exactly an uncommon name. She's like, yes, that's yours. Talk to her. So, long story short, get the limo. Brother's already outside, surprise. And uh, the rest of the weekend is just one event after another that I never saw coming. First day uh, was just kind of relaxing day. We went out to eat, kind of walked down, did the strip thing, just walking down and seeing it. And uh, we also had to get some tickets for later on the weekend. Uh, but then our first real adventure started the next day. So take a look. We definitely started the weekend with a bang. My brother Matthew. How's it going? How you doing? Hi. Hi, for being here. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> you were ridden, you never been in a Humvee, right? Not really. That's no. why. That's that's the other reason I booked these guys because then you could ride in a Humvee. <laughs> what are we doing? Where are you guys from? Um, I live up near Seattle, and he lives in Arkansas. We have not. All right, thank you. We're going to Battlefield, Las Vegas. <laughs> All right, I'm here at uh, Battlefield Vegas, off the strip in Las Vegas, as you might imagine, and getting ready to shoot some guns. Um, that you can basically build a package yourself, or they have some different uh, packages already made as to what guns you shoot. Um, I'm looking for a fully automatic as and something I don't get to shoot otherwise uh, short of something like an M4 which I have at home um, or a Glock or things. You can shoot all that as well. Shoot revolvers but we're here for the big guns. Let's go see what they have. I'm excited. It's going to be fun and uh, get to also see kind of some of the other things that they have here. Old tanks, helicopters. Pretty fun. And we are right off the strip doing this before we hit the pool. Take your time, fire when you're ready. You're 
<laughs> That's awesome. All right, let me know. All right, right on the mic. Right Take your time. I just got to shoot a fully automatic saw an MP5 suppressed and one expensive round out of a Barrett 50 caliber. Is it $29? <laughs> it's $25 round, but that's okay. Only live once. Not all of us get to do that for a living. So now we're just surveying all the tanks. And you can actually pay $2,500 <laughs> to crush a car. We did not do that. But it looks like. It would be hella fun to do that. Maybe next time. So, we get back to our hotel room and uh, have a show that we're gonna go to that night. It's basically all I could get from my brother on the information is what we were doing. Um, again, because they don't let you take photos and videos in a lot of these places, um, can't, couldn't really capture it as well as I'd like. But, and nor would I have been able to, but we saw Chris Angel, Mind Freak, and let me tell you, it was out of this world. Insane, crazy illusions, and just a really well done artistic show. So the next morning, uh, fairly early, but we were able to, uh, it was actually, um, we had, shh, I'm trying to video. That's what happens, I promised myself I would knock this video out in as many laps as it took to get around the neighborhood. Ruger might have a heat stroke. I might, but we're gonna do this. Okay, so next morning, after the Chris Angel show, after the gun range, after the pool party. Okay, reality check. No photos or videos from the, uh, the pool. Just have to take my word for it. We had to get a little recovery time in, um, but we actually went to a nice brunch at one of the casinos for really good value and from there we got back to the hotel just in time for our next adventure which took us out into the desert take a look an amazing day it was literally unexpected um, and kind of a behind the scenes look at why this is all coming together um, we, Caitlin and I love watching the show Grand Tour which is on Amazon used to be Top Gear and we loved watching all those guys' adventures and pretty much I guess made some comments throughout the spring watching that show that man that was like amazing stuff they were doing was just kind of like that would be really fun and totally something I could see doing. You want to travel across the country, different excursions, different adventures. So that's why I think we're, Caitlin and my brother really got these ideas to kind of put together into an awesome adventure. And uh, I 
can't say enough about it. It was just amazing. Appreciate them so much for putting that arm together. That final night, or not the final, second to the last night, I really thought things were about done. They couldn't get much better. And uh, my brother said, hey, we got to have an easy night tonight because you're not going to want to feel bad for tomorrow's adventure. And he was totally right. And I just just look, I, I don't even know how to describe what happened next. And with the seat or the, I have a perfect seat right over here. Yeah, you're. See, you either have to be as short as an Italian or as tall as Matthew to actually see anything. Otherwise, you're looking right into this bar as you drive. <laughs> so I have to squat down, look through here, or try to look over. This is not a very conventional drive. The uh, time for Red Rock Canyon. With Matthew at the helm. day was just amazing and uh, a dream come true is something that as little boys we dream about even seeing a foreign exotic car like that and then uh, to be able to actually have one for the day was uh, just an incredible experience highly recommend it I'm a little bit jaded now because if I go back I feel like I need to do that again maybe it'll be a Ferrari next time maybe it'll be the same Lambo I don't know uh, but definitely have to budget that in because, yeah, I'm spoiled now. Just fair warning to my wife and family. That is uh, how I expect to be treated on every birthday from here on out. <laughs>